feel the threefold flame in your heart now. Bring your awareness to the pink, blue, and gold threefold flame. Allow it to draw you in, envelop you, and expand this energy to six feet in all directions. Breathe it down to the heart of Gaia, and then up through your higher chakras to source, creating your energetic pillar. Keep breathing up and down your pillar as we call them the support teams. We ask for the angels, the archangels, the ascended masters, and the karmic poor to merge deeply and fully with us now through all dimensions of our fields. We ask for our God presence, our guides, our ascension councils, who work in harmonious group consciousness together, so the highest of the highest of the highest will be shown here today for all of us in our here and now. We ask for a temple of Mother Guy grounding to anger and activate through all dimensions of our field. We ask for a temple of divine union to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. And finally, calling on a God Presence Communion Temple to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our field. Just connect with all of these frequency fields around you. Feel how they open up your field. Connect with your pillar. Raise the frequency. And now place your attention in the God Presence Communion Temple. And take a seat in the circle here. At the center of this temple, you will notice a large, beautiful crystal. Tune into it now. It will have different liquid light colors flowing through it for each and every one of you. Connect your heart and your brow and your sacral to this particular crystal by sending out energy from the chakras to the crystal and receiving energies back from the crystal. Find yourself getting comfortable here in the energy of the temple. And you may notice we are joined now by two ascended masters, Kuan Yin and Isis. And today they wish to discuss with us a very interesting and serious theme for many of you, they explain. And it relates to body holographics. It relates to the blueprints and templates as connected to the materialization of your particularly physical body. Many of you, they explain, are on paths of ascension, raising your consciousness, actively being and doing your missions on Earth, on Gaia, at this time. And with this path of ascension comes the development of your energy bodies. There are many paths of ascension, many parts within the path of ascension, and many roots within these paths. And so depending on how your divine presence and your team is guiding you to move on your unique path, your energy bodies will raise in frequency accordingly. For some of you, this journey starts with a strong focus on the physical body. For others, it is more about starting with the development of the mental energy bodies. For some, it is about 
opening up the emotional energy bodies. And yet for others, it starts with their spiritual connection to source, for instance, or their multidimensional nature. And then from there, they develop the other energy bodies. And so depending on all of these many, many factors, your energy bodies are the way they are at this stage. However, your frequency may be raising faster than some of your energy bodies. It may feel like they are lagging, and today's session is particularly about the physical body, the manifestation of the physical body template, the physical body holographics, the physical body blueprint. And for many of you, it may feel like your body has yet to catch up to where you are energetically, where you are in your frequency. You may be on a very fast growth curve and your body feels like it has yet to catch up. May it be stated clearly, they say, that today's session is not so much about changing your physical body to appear more so-and-so or such-and-such, such, as in the desires of more the third density reality. However, it may be your innate knowing that your body is simply meant to be a little bit different than it is now. And if that means your body will change more according to how you favor it, then this is exactly according to the divine plan set out by you, your divine presence and your soul within this particular incarnation. So that being said, the different energetics that you will move through today will assist you to align these holographics, to align this physical body template, this physical body blueprint. So to start, Isis and Kuan Yin say they wish you to connect to their 12 primary chakras with your 12 primary chakras now, and one of them will stand behind you energetically, and one will stand in front of you. And so, to start this process now. When you and Isis explain that within this first connection, together with your Ascension Council, your guides, and your God Presence, they tune into the current state of your energy bodies. And within that, your physical body template. Your physical body, they explain, is a very clear and direct translation of your connection to Gaia. It is what you see and what others see of your energy bodies. This does not mean the other energy bodies cannot be seen. However, in your physical reality, it is your physical vessel. that is observed by others that you use. And so, again, this session is not only about improving how you perceive 
your physical body or the appearance of your physical body. It is much more about aligning it with the rest of your energy bodies. For some of you, this may mean more lightness. For others, this may mean more fill, more gravitational connection to Gaia. For if you are to bring through larger energy, then your energy body simply need to fill out, and this includes your physical body. So whatever is in divine order for each individual, this is what this alignment and this series of alignments will connect to. And again, highly likely if you're intuitively already feeling that things have been misaligned, then that which you intuitively have already picked up will come to be. And so the effect of these alignments may be exactly what you wish for. However, it should not be the reason for moving through these alignments. Keep breathing up and down your pillar now. And Kuan Yin and Isis explain that the God Presence Communion Temple is now going to make a dimensional shift and connect in with the template reality, the template dimension. And this is a dimension where blueprints live, so to speak, Kuan Yin and Isis explain. And so the entire temple has been moved to this particular dimension, this realm, so to speak. So get acclimatized here to the frequencies. Keep breathing up and down your pillow. As you will notice, the temple has changed in shape and is ever so much larger now. Isis and Kuan Yin guide each and every one of you to an area within the temple where you will receive your alignments, a series of alignments, again particularly related to the holographics of your physical body. So follow them to a part in the temple where you will be guided to lay down or stand or be seated. And Kuan Yin and Isis explain that their multidimensional consciousness can be with each and every one of you individually on your unique journey, your unique series of alignments. However, together with all of your God Presences, the steps in these alignments can be harmonized. And so, the series of alignments you are going to embark on will be the same for each and every one of you However, they will be unique to your particular individual energetic signatures as well. So be seated or remain standing or lay down. For those laying down, it is often on a crystal bed. For those standing up, you will often notice that 
is like there is an energetic system, almost like a chamber around you, which will assist you in receiving these particular transmissions, these particular energetics, these harmonics. A lot of you, Kuan Yin and Isis explain, will feel the energies in your physical body during this session. The effects of this session will play out over particularly the coming two months. Your physical body can change quickly, however often it takes a little time for energies to translate through your physical body, which is why this session has been created in the first place. So the changes from today's session will align you to your current rate of ascension, taking into account the prognosis of the development of your energy bodies over the next two months as well. However, those effects will be small versus the difference that is already here and has been created. It is like your physical body is going to play catch up to a large part of the rest of your multidimensional energy bodies. That being said, prepare yourself by breathing up and down your pillar to receive the first alignment now. As the alignments move through your energy bodies, it may help your mind to understand that each alignment will be a little bit finer in nature. The very first alignment is a bit rougher in nature. It creates the largest shift as far as the ketchup, however, it is the lowest in energy frequency resonance, meaning each and every alignment as they work forth from the one before it will be higher in frequency and will be more and more about fine-tuning. So we're receiving this first alignment now. Some of you will literally feel sensations in your physical body some uncomfortable. You may feel warm or cold. You may sense different color energetics or sound patterning moving through your field. Remembering that here in this particular template dimension. You are connecting to your physical body template and blueprint. And the teams are using this as a reference point for the current status quo of your physical body, but also in connection to the current status quo of 
all of your other energy bodies. If, for instance, you have placed a great deal of effort into your mental or emotional or spiritual energy bodies, then the physical body will need to catch up if your journey has created a great deal of mastery around your physical body. However, you have not done much work in dealing with your emotional energy bodies, then there will be a different root and transformation needed. So even if you have spent a great deal of time and mastery in dealing with your physical body, this particular alignment will still be very valuable to you and may still create great shifts for you for the other energy bodies will be stimulated to catch up. So the expansion will still be from the physical body but moving towards the other energy bodies. Those of you that have created higher frequencies in your other energy bodies will have the physical body simply feeling like it is lagging or it isn't the proper shape anymore or it isn't serving you the way your energies are flowing anymore. So all of these great deal of variables will be taken into account within these alignments. Some of you may feel this like a bit of a scanning process from head to toe or may feel ripples, waves moving through your energy bodies or your chakras. Allow all of that to move through. Some of you will go on multidimensional journeys. You may even meet other parts of your God presence in other realms only if it is relevant and particularly in connection to your physical body. As a soul, you have lived many, many, many lifetimes and Often, the wounding from some of these lifetimes can still show up in your current physical body. This has to do with the changes over time made to your physical body template, your physical body blueprint. Now there is such a thing as an original blueprint, which is sort of what you started off with. And then your physical body blueprint is inclusive of all the changes from those many, many lifetimes and all of those experiences. In some cases, karma is still involved. If there's weaknesses in your physical body, then this potentially still needs to be released. These alignments will cater partly to this as well. And for some of you, you will be receiving karmic absolution. The karmic board is here as well. And this will immediately lead to changes in the Akashic Records and changes to your physical body blueprint. The holographics of your physical body. Seventy percent complete now with this first alignment. If you notice your mind being very busy, questioning things, trying to figure things out, or even if your emotional energy bodies are projecting fears or worries or guilt or shame or not understanding things, hand all of these over to Kuan Yin and Isis now, they say. They will transform these for you. These are part impart the woundings in your multidimensional energy body that you are feeling now as a soul in this particular vessel. Or many of you may have heard that the physical body holds emotional wounds as well, and mental mind wounds as well, and spiritual wounding. So your physical body and all your energy bodies are obviously connected, and so 
all of these things can be triggered as well in these alignments. Understanding that all of this is fully sanctioned and chosen by your Divine Presence and your soul, or you would not be tuning in at this stage to this particular session. Trust the process and hand these energies over now. They are part of your healing. They will facilitate your ascension greatly. Ninety percent complete now. You will notice some vortexing energies moving through and around you. If you feel you still haven't properly grounded here in this particular dimension, breathe strongly down to the heart of Gaia, up to Source. This will facilitate that. This particular realm may feel very fluid or non-cohesive or non-connected to some of you. For in this reality is where the templates and the blueprints exist. And so from there the material world is created. And so this particular energy may feel formless to you. It may feel to some like you're floating or like Almost like there's no gravity, you're, it's hard to connect to that particular heaviness in your energy bodies. Different than simply going to the God Presence Communion Temple. Now that the God Presence Communion Temple has actually moved to this particular dimension, frequency, bandwidth, realm, whichever words you'd like to use, however your mind would like to Name the situation. By breathing up and down your pillar, you will notice that you're, you can lock into this dimension a bit more strongly. Now, some of you may be asked to change positions from laying down to now standing up, going into the mini chamber, or sitting down. If so, make these adjustments for yourself. Kwanin Isis and your team will assist you and be ready now for round two. Again, these are a little more fine-tuned and higher frequency. Starting now. It may feel to some that a lot of focus is placed in certain parts of your physical body or your energy bodies. That is for a very good reason, because that is where the energy has not caught up or has not been flowing. And so trust what is happening and often will make sense to you as time progresses and as things come into materialization over the next two months in your physical reality. A lot of circular motions happening around you now. Whether you're laying down, standing up or sitting down. Not so much spiral vortexes, but more straight circular energies moving around you. Some may change from clockwise to counterclockwise to clockwise, etc. Or they may be one directional. For some of you, this will feel cooling. For others, it will feel like it's heating up. Union and Isis wish for you to understand that this session and these alignments will ultimately line you up to create more of an energetic connection to Gaia 
and source, and thus also your God presence, creating to be more, creating you to be more empowered in your mission, to raise your frequency more powerfully without feeling like your physical body is holding you back in any way. And again, it will make you lighter or it will make you more grounded in whatever way is most suited to your particular mission, your path, your energy bodies. 70% complete. these circular energies will start to get larger now and larger now and larger now and they will be speeding up as well and again for some of you it is clockwise, counterclockwise almost like a spin one way and back, one way and back or simply clockwise or counterclockwise Ninety percent complete now. The energy will be wrapping up for you with vortexing energies, taking over from the circular spinning energies now. If you feel particular pressure, Kuan Yin and I to say, in a part of your physical body, focus a little bit on breathing some of the threefold flame that this journey started with. To that particular area of your physical body. That will assist the process to unfold even more smoothly for you. Okay, completing this second alignment now. Again, some of you will be invited to either step into the standing chamber or sit down or lay down. And for some of you, you will remain laying down during these entire series of alignments. So follow your own flow and your team's guidance. If you find it hard to actually know what's happening by not seeing it or not really knowing it, simply trust the process. Simply trust that your soul and your team and your God presence is guiding you in a divine manner. The third, a little bit higher frequency, more fine-tuning, will start now. energies connected to this particular alignment are straight from above to below. So you will feel energies moving through different parts of your physical body, your energy bodies, not just the chakras but many other different areas as well. You may feel it in your arms or your legs or your head or you may simply see it moving through your physical body allow these energies to move through and they're more like pulsing sonic type energies not just through your chakras again but through many different parts of your physical body as you are here in this particular template reality template dimension Again, if some of these are uncomfortable for your physical body or creating pain or nausea or anything else, breathe up and down your pillar. 
and send energy from your own threefold flame to this particular area of your physical body. You're all doing very well, they say. You are relaxing into it. You are letting go of expectations. You are surrendering up emotions and limited thinking through the mind. Continue on with this, Kuan Yin and I say, 70% complete. The final phase will intensify slightly. These harmonics, these sonics, these pulsation energies move through your energy bodies from up to down. And Kuan Yin Isis state, it does not matter whether you are laying down or seated or standing, these energies will move through your physical body and your energy bodies in a manner that if you were laying down, they would move through you from the top of you, through you, to below you. And so if you are standing, it is more from the front to behind you. And one Yin and I say, smile and say, this is to satisfy for those of you who were having these wonderings. We're fixing energies, starting now, starting to complete this process of this third step in the alignment, this third alignment. Beautiful. Breathe up and down your pillar now a few times. And again, you will be guided whether you need to be standing, seated or laying down for this fourth alignment. Higher frequency yet, more fine-tuning starting now. This particular alignment will follow the other direction, coming from beneath you if you're laying down, from behind you if you're standing up or seated. Again, pulses, sonics, harmonics moving through you. Allow these energies to move through you, all different parts of your physical body and energy bodies, focused on the physical body. Different colors may be associated, and also different liquid lights may be associated, including the metallics, diamond-esque and opalescent energies. Breathing up and down your pillar. If you notice yourself drifting off, going on different multidimensional journeys, it is okay. Simply do your best to remain conscious. Another way to look at today's session, when you and I just explain, is the update and upgrade of your physical body template. And 
This is achieved by making these changes through these alignments to your energy bodies and the template. They are one and the same ultimately and connected. The template being the source of, in this case, your physical body within your energy bodies. Mother Gaia's template is undergoing changes constantly as well within her ascension process. And this is the same for the entire solar system. As the entire solar system moves to a more high frequency part of the galaxy, thus creating these ascension energies and these moves to higher densities. Eighty percent complete now. Prepare now for the vortexing energies to seal this fourth alignment up. And if need be, change over now. For many of you, there will be a change over with this particular one. If you have been laying down most of the time, perhaps you will be guided to standing in the chamber or being seated. And for more, a rare few of you, Kuan Yin and Isis explain, you will remain in the same position during all of these alignments. Make the changeover if needed. Be ready for the fifth alignment in this series. Starting now. This alignment is a funny one, and it may make you feel a little funny because the movements are like the wave patterns of, for instance, a snake in the sand. It is almost to be described as sideways harmonics that are pulsing through you in wave-like patterns. And so it is almost like this temporarily distorts or changes the appearance of your energy bodies, almost like you are a wave, an energetic wave yourself. And the intensity of this wave will increase during this fifth alignment. So for some of you, it may feel literally like you're being shaken around a bit. Breathe through this, breathe up and down your pillar. And again, if you need to send some energy from the threefold flame in your heart to a particular part of your physical body, follow your guidance. In particularly this alignment, many of you will notice different multidimensional journeys open up, substreams of information coming in. You will receive from either other soul extensions or your ascension council. Some will receive gifts to assist in this entire process. More clarity will be created for you in regards to understanding your mission. This particular fifth alignment with these wave-like shaking patterns 
create this and attract this. Allow this information to come into you now as you keep surrendering and slipping deeply into and sitting deeply into and laying deeply into that trust of your God presence, your divine presence, your higher self. And guiding you here and through these alignments. 50% complete now. Enjoy this fifth alignment, Kuan Yin and Isis say. It may literally spin you out. Together with these wave patterns getting more and more intense, your physical body will now also start to rotate around its axis if you are laying down. It is like you are hovering above the table and spinning. If you are in the chamber, you are spinning in the chamber and seated you are spinning on your particular seat. These harmonics are going faster and the spin is going faster. It will be either clockwise or counterclockwise for each and every one of you. Again, if you feel any nausea come up or any dizziness, simply trust the process. Keep breathing up and down your pillar and asking Kuan Yin and Isis and your team for assistance. Keep letting go of the old. This alignment will bring up a lot of the old and it will bring in a lot of the new. This is a very transitional alignment within this series. And this is why many of you were guided to change positions. 70% complete now. Keep breathing through it. Keep remaining conscious. Keep feeling grounded as best you can. As the vortex is now gent, we start to swirl around you, gently slowing you down, sealing this alignment up. Final 10% now. You will notice something interesting in this final phase of this fifth alignment. It will feel like you or your physical body is literally coated a tube of gold liquid light, platinum liquid light, silver liquid light, diamond desk liquid light, or opalescent liquid light. It is quite the sight to behold, and you may feel very connected to this frequency. Allow this to move through you now. as this is part of this alignment. For some of you, this energy will feel very comforting. And for others, it will truly assist you to feel the gravitational energy of these changes now and to finally feel a little bit more at home here in this template reality, this template dimension. Feeling up number five now. When you and I say two more to go, this will assist your mind to move through these processes as the energy will be raising strongly now with these final two alignments. Most of you will be maintaining the new position from the fifth alignment. And the sixth alignment starts now.
this alignment will carry with it the sensation of being rocked from left to right and up and down. And back and forth. So it'll create movements back and forth, left and right, and up and down. And these will intensify during this alignment, this sixth alignment. Keep breathing up and down your pillow as you take these energies in. A good word for this sixth alignment is recalibration. Many of you will now start to experience things like bright light frequencies, like the brightness of the sun, or bright liquid light frequencies moving through and around you. These will often be in connection to Metallic energies like gold, silver, platinum, and also diamond disc and opalescent. Yet they will have a very powerful, very, very bright glow to them, very high frequency energies relating to very high dimensions within your multi dimensional field moving through your physical body template, transforming it, and moving through the template into the creation that is your physical body, as represented in the physical body template slash blueprint. And these holographics will be coming into your life at a very timely point. Or they will assist you to ground deeper on Gaia, ground deeper into your mission, and thus create bigger waves of expression of your mission through your unique energetic signature as a soul in your physical body vessel on the ascending Gaia. 70% complete now. You'll notice the moving back, forth, up, down, left, right is now at its maximum peak. You will feel the very powerful energies coming in, glowing energies, bright energies, soothing you, raising your frequency, lifting you. These glowing energies now start to turn into vortexing energies, very gently wrapping around you merging with each cell of your physical body and your energy bodies. Really feel how this raises your frequency now. Keep breathing up and down your pillar as this alignment is sealed up. One final step remains. Again, if you need to change position, either lay down, stand up or be seated. When you and I just explain that this final 
seven alignment is going to bring everything together. It is of the highest frequency, and it will connect all of the energies and the changes within the template, and thus, as manifestation within your physical body. This seventh alignment starts now. This particular alignment will make you feel formless. It is like the individual photons within your physical body all expand. They're still connected, yet just. It is like you become one with the unified field. You become one with space-time and time-space. You become one with your divine presence. You become one with all that is. Very gently, or on a larger scale, you will notice two different motions, both at the same time, one clockwise and one counterclockwise, spinning through your energy bodies and around your physical body, here, in the temple. Simply surrender at this stage and receive. Within this, many will feel the direct connection to the cosmos, the galaxy, and all that is. Seventy percent complete. Very gentle vortex in energy now. You start to bring your energies back together. Very gently forming your energy bodies in your physical body. Again, divine alignment with your upgraded physical body template. Very gently feel everything coming back together. You feel very deeply inside of you that something is different, that you have changed. You will see these reflections 
in divine order over the next two months in your physical reality. Sealing this final alignment up now. On Yin and Isis, bring the temple, the God presence, communion temple, out of the template reality dimension, back to its original place within time space. Very gently breathe up and down your pillar now. And connect your 12 primary chakras to the crystal at the core of the God Presence Communion Temple. Exchange energies now. Notice how you feel different because you are different, Kuan Yin and Isis explain. They want to thank you oh so deeply for allowing them to assist you in this way. If you have any queries or questions, they say, ask them and they will get through to you through your guides, through signals or direct communication about this process. Breathe deeply up and down your pillar now as we ask for all this energy work to be sealed and to integrate with grace, ease, love, light, and empowerment. We thank Kuan Yin and Isis ever so deeply. We thank the temples, our ascension councils, the karmic board, and Mother Gaia. Send this energy deeply down to the heart of Mother Gaia, available for all who are ready for it and wish to access it as well. Come fully, fully, fully back into your physical body in your here and now. Breathe up and down your pillar a few times. As again, we ask for all this energy work to be sealed and to integrate with grace, ease, love, light, and empowerment. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, so be it, so be it, so be it, it is done.